Hello family, welcome back to another week's video. It's Shauna LaKell. If you're stopping by for the first time, welcome and welcome back to all our family members. In today's video, I am going to share with you how I created this beautiful vessel. I DIY a vintage vessel. They can be very expensive. So I found this particular one at Home Goods. It was clearance down to $30 and I picked it up. And I was like, okay, I don't like the color, but I do like the shape and the way that it is designed. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to DIY as much as I can to show you how I can get a, um, age vessel I'm sharing a picture of a vessel that caught my attention and I like the color schemes that's in it and I'm going to go ahead and try and do a replica of that as much as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do, I want to go ahead and add some texture to this um, vessel. I want to add some um, spackle and I'm just going to go ahead and layer um, a couple layers of it and I'm rubbing it in and um, you see me patting it and that's how I'm going to go ahead and allow it to give me some texture. And just enjoy creating your masterpiece and that's what i'm doing just taking my precious time and adding that speckle to the vase and allowing it to take on to the vase i did allow um, time for it to dry as well in between the applications of adding the um the speckle and as you can see, I'm patting again my hands as I have put it in there just so that it can get some texture on it. As you can see, I am adding that texture. I'm making sure I get around those handles, get all up into it, all around the bottom, the also uh, the rim of the vase, just making sure you cover every area. So see how it looks? So I'm gonna go ahead and allow that to dry and then I'll come back and I will see how it will look and then I will make a decision. I didn't do the inside, I didn't feel it was necessary. My focus was mainly on the outside. It's the next day and my pot is completely dry. I like the texture that's on it, so I only put one. Here are the different paints that I will be using to create my age vessel. I'm going to start with the mineral from Weberly and I purchased all the paints from Walmart. I have a brush that I'm going to be dabbing because I don't want to brush it on. I want to dab it on. I want to make sure that the brush gives some texture as well to the pot. So that's what I'm doing. Just making sure that I add extra layers of texture by dabbing it onto the pot versus using a paintbrush and painting it to make it smooth. That is not the, um, that's not what I'm trying to achieve definitely a lot of texture and definition. Mark and I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in last week to our video when we DIY the brick panel on the wall. Thank you so much for um, all the love and support that you constantly give us. It means so much to us. We have so many new family members. I do want to extend a warm welcome to you and thank you so much for joining the family. Um, if you are stopping by the channel for the very first time, go ahead and um, hit that subscribe button and become a part of our family. We'll love to have you here. We have plenty of home DIYs coming your way for home decorating and home decor. Also, make sure you check out my um, community tab. You will find so much out there where I am now a part of the Like to Know, which is called the LTK, and I will be posting so many home decor finds for you price drops, all of that. So thank you so much for being here.
I am making sure that I give this vessel some good coverage. That's one thing you want to make sure. I had a bright burnt orange color that it started with and definitely I need to make sure that I cover that up so that it will not peek through when I start um, aging the pot giving it that texture that it needs with those different earthy tones that I'm going to be adding. Now that the pot is completely covered with the mineral, I'm going to now use that paper, wet paper towel method, and I'm just going to take it and put it inside my paint and just dab it all over. And this is how I give it that earthy look, I call it. Um, some people like to use dirt. Also, I did not use dirt. I just used my paint colors and I just went on and just dabbed it all over the vessel just to give it different shades and pops of color. As you can see, I'm not um, covering the entire pot. You do st still see some layers of the mineral that I originally put on there as the base. I'm just dabbing into the paint and just adding that paint all over the vessel. This is definitely not a rush project. You definitely want to take your time and just take that wet, damp paper towel and just dab it into your paint colors and continue to distribute the paint all around the entire vessel you can definitely see the age starting to come through and just by blending it and just keep doing it make sure you get around the entire perimeter of that vessel with your colors This is where I just started adding some of the black paint just to kind of give it another color in there. Just I'm playing around with it. I'm just, you know, testing the waters to see how things look and just add some black in there and just play with your colors, guys. That's all I want you to do is play with your colors. Have fun. Enjoy the process. And to you see the color that you're trying to look for something that looks good to your eye that's exactly what i'm doing i'm just eyeballing this and saying hey okay this black doesn't look too bad let me go ahead and add a couple more specks of it in here that's what i'm doing As I continue to move around to the other side of the vessel, I'm allowing my paint to dry on the other side that I just finished. And I noticed over time, the vessel was really, as it dry, it really starts to peak out the, the age of it. Um, I really just thought that, oh my gosh, I'm really doing this and that it is definitely showing. You just got to play with it. Don't get a don't be afraid. At first I was. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to mess this up. This is not coming out like I thought it would. But I just kept going. And I said, we, we're into this now, Shauna. You got to take it all the way to the finish line. And we just got to keep going. And definitely after it started drying, I start seeing the vision. I start seeing everything coming together. So that's something I want to share with you. Don't get scared or anything just keep going look at that just look how that vessel turned out i mean and it's been several days several weeks actually now this vessel has really really set and taken it's been some a while now because i was like i want to see what it's going to look like and it really looks nice let me know what you think in the comments below what I want to do is I want to remind you what we started with a burnt orange um, pot and I turned it into this and I want to show you how I'll be styling it. I'm thinking of using this inside versus outside 
and I have plenty of greenery that I want to show you. So I put it on my um, hearth in the family room. I'm not sure if you even noticed it last week in the video, but I'm showing you different ways you can style it. I also put it inside my kitchen on the island and just showing you it's just so much easier sitting it up here just show you with the different um, greenery that I'm using. I love using the um, asparagus bush and then I have some um, greenery that I wanted to use. And you may remember this greenery from last year. I purchased that from Walmart, that greenery. But look at that asparagus bush. It just really sits in there real nice and I really like it. I wanna thank you guys for um, watching the video make sure you give me a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video have a blessed week bye bye